All right, so this is LaQueen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. Today it is Sunday, August the 22nd in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm very happy to be with you. I am a certified medical assistant, adult pediatric first aid, American Heart Association, as well as community health advocate here, a COVID-19 researcher here in the Boston, Massachusetts area. So very happy to be here. I'm also a published author on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. Check out my books. All right, so 737 Hero City, now I'm going through a whole list of topics so that I can get out to you guys. You go ahead and see the feedbacks in my channel and then see how I respond to a lot of issues because I'm really trying to catch up with a lot of other issues as well as deal with um, a lot of emotional pain that I'm going through right now. So bear with me, bear with me, okay? Keep in mind with me, I'm still trying to do my best to remain composed, deal with the death of a family member right now. So. The next topic that I have to deal with today is called internet access. Okay, so um, I think that it's very important for um, a young person to be involved socially, uh, politically, emotionally today. Okay, and one of the, the ways that you can be involved, okay, is through the means of having internet access. I think internet access is a very important means to get across of what you want to do in life as well as to completely remain in contact, involved with other people around the world. And so it's it's a great it's a great it's a it's great that the internet has been a ways of means and ways of communication for people all around the world to be to be in the know to be in the know okay so if you are not in the know then that is another issue that you're either you still know what's going on socially or you are kind of like old and set in your ways okay you are old and set in your ways okay and so for somebody like myself i'm in my mid-30s going into my 40s and i'm dealing with the fact that i'm losing kind of like kind of like internet access like why don't i have internet access is that a barrier or is that kind of like some people are like well she has an addiction issue is that a, kind of like an addiction issue or like like what is going on why would the the lack of internet access be a ways of means for a woman not to be able to express herself or not to be in the know or to know what's going on okay so it can also be a hate issue. Like, we don't want this person to know what's going on. And so we choose for her to be out of the loop. And sometimes when you're out of the loop, everybody else around you is involved. Or when you're out of the loop, everything in your life is upside down and, and it's turned all around. It's out of whack. You're losing friends. People are dying. You're losing jobs. You're losing constant communication. You don't know what's going on. You, everything's doors are closing all around you because you don't know you don't have communication you don't have access you don't have the availability of access sometimes in the internet as well as the, the world wide web is a way for people to to be able to express themselves through email whatever kind of way you can communicate to other people about what is going on and choosing to remain in the loop And then people all around the world in Muslim, Muslim countries, even in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, in Kazakhstan, and in Iraq, and in India, have access to the internet. So for somebody here in the United States, not to be able to have the same means of constant communication that people all around the world in third world countries like like um, in Kenya, in South Africa, in, um, in Egypt, not even Egypt, in South America, in Chile, and um, um, in um, hmm, Venezuela, what's going on in the humanitarian crisis in Venezuela with President Maduro. I mean, for people who need the internet to be able to communicate themselves, okay? As well as for women, the, the way of constant communication is is a fundamental right to be able to express yourself, to have liberty, to have freedom of movement, to have freedom of expression. And usually if somebody's trying to limit you, limit your actions of what you're doing by blocking access to you. 
I know this. I know it's a topic of debate. <laughs> I did take a little bit of debate debate in school, but I just want to get across because I've been experiencing the lack of internet access here in the city of Boston. Like, why am I going through not getting internet access? What is this issue about? What is really going on? Even my grandma, my grandmother, 80 years old, has access to the internet, has a phone, has a cell phone, has five computers, has internet on her TV, three, three TVs, all of her TVs have internet access. My father has internet access. Why would the, why would the lack of constant, constant viral communication be an issue? Being a woman, especially a black woman, in in modern day America. When we're going through a war, you need people to know, you need to, people to be aware. So, hey, hey, she needs to call somebody. Well, it's great to call somebody, but you still need, me, need a means of call, contacting that person. Through an email, you need, you need a means of emailing. Okay? So it's not an addiction. It's not an addiction. It's a, it's a way to be involved and to be in the know. And people will turn that completely against you and say, oh, that person has an addiction. Oh, that so person has a social media addiction. Oh, that person has anxiety issues. Let's take this from them. Let's take this away from them. Okay, it's hate. It's hate. It's hate. Even in the city of Boston, okay, where Facebook was invented, Twitter was invented, Apple products were invented. IBM was founded here. IBM was founded in the city of Boston. Okay. It's Seattle, uh, Boston, wherever you want to be. Where, Los Angeles, wherever. A lot of technological advances were founded here in the city of Boston. Yes, I'm old. Yes, I'm old. <laughs> I'm old, but it's still a major factor that needs to be addressed. And so when you go to countries like what the US, United States is fighting for, they're fighting to remain, to, to have constant communication. You still even need constant communication with the foreign enemy. You need to, to, to be able to talk to these people. You need to be able to talk to these people. Like we need to figure out to, some way to have some kind of resolution. I need to talk to you. We need to face each other face to face. Even if you are in a different country. Even if you are a different religion. I need to remain in constant communication with you. So it is a lot. And that's what the United States is fighting for right now. Where they're trying to help along with other of our other allied counterparts to establish a, they tried to over 10, 15, 20 years to establish a democracy in Afghanistan but it failed it was given over to the hands of the Taliban it failed, it failed it failed it failed It failed, and so you need to be able to find other means about what is going on. Okay, so it's great, it's a great opportunity to go in countries like India, where India has over, not a million, but two billion people in the country of India. It's bigger than you think it was. Always in the flow, always the communication and the amount of impact. And it's old, it's so old, it's so old. But still, they have a now more of a political influence than ever before. India. And the surrounding countries that it, it counterparts with.
Okay. So again, I just want to make make something clear of why internet constant the, the internet is internet access is needed. So you're gonna block somebody and not tell them how have them to progress in their life, have them to move forward. It could be with domestic violence, it could be a religious issue, it could be a social issue. We just don't want that person to be in the loop. I'm not just talking about myself, but I'm also talking about other people involved too as well. Um, and also what is going on is they're trying right now in 2021, going on in 2022, in the state of New York, as well as in Washington, Washington D.C., they're trying to initiate laws to make, to make the Internet free, which is a great thing. It's a great thing that they're right now trying to establish laws to make Internet access free. That's great for the Internet to finally be free instead of having to pay for it. It's great. But everything comes with a price. So it's great to be to make laws, to have the internet free for for education and school, to free for, for communication for health wise, for, for people to be informed about their health, as well as to be informed about politics and the government. But at the same time, like I said before, everything comes with a price. Even the internet comes with a price. And so there has to be laws established to help regulate it and then eventually to make it free. For everybody. Which is what they're trying to do right now in 2021. Okay. All right, so this is Queen Battle, Battle for Save Responder Services, talking about internet access. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great one. You can email me any com comments, concerns, concerns. Please email, email me in English. <laughs> Battlefirstaid at iCloud.com. B A T T L E, the number one S T A I D at iCloud.com. Love you guys. <laughs>